like it. Sure? Of course, I like it. It's so it, it's so dark. I don't know why it's so dark. Even the phone looks dark. Is your brightness up? Mm? Is your brightness up? Come check it out. Why do you do the brightness? Yeah, maybe you're right about it. Yeah, that's better now. That's better now. Good to Morgan. Good to Morgan. Good morning. How you guys doing? Are you still in your room? Yeah, I'm still in my room. Good morning. 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 Guten Morgen from Germany. <laughs> mm. That's my make me some smoothies, guys. How you call this? Raspberry or it blueberry? Has, it has um, mm? mixed berries, avocado. Mm? Mm -hmm. You need to make this all. It's all good. Mm. How you guys doing this morning? Good morning tonight. Good morning, Victoria. Good morning, D. Willie Will. Good morning, Ednan. Good morning, Tracy. Good morning, Miss Sylvia. Gianna, good morning. Diane, good morning. Fatu, good morning. Fatu said from England. Good how do you say good morning in British English? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> you know they have that accent, right? Good morning from England. <laughs> Guten Morgen from Germany. Top Endera from Sierra Leone, Timini. Everybody, how you they do? <laughs> Creole. Boa Bise, Mende. On the wall, is that that's Madingo from Guinea. Kajara Manani, Kabela Keja. That's um, from Guinea. Kona Creed, full of people. <laughs> what is, which other language do you know, Nazma? How do you say good morning in Spanish? Um, you do Spanish, you're know. supposed to know that. I you went to a Spanish school. You don't know how to say good morning. Huh? Bonas I didn't say that. That's what you said. You said bonas tiesas. Good morning, guys. I'm going to show you how to make jerk chicken. Do you guys see this chicken? This is um chicken oh, like cutters. Bonas lunches is good night. <laughs> so, guys, this chicken is clean. Thoroughly clean. You can even take this excess fat if you see some more. You see this fat? Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Buenos dias is good morning. Which other language do you guys say good morning? Everybody say good morning in your language. Wherever you're watching me from, say good morning from your language so we can know. My language is Timini. You say, Ndirai, Ndirai Topendera. That's Timini. Um, Creole. Creole is like English. Good morning. How you they do? How do you body? Um, Mende, Mende in my language, they say, Bua, Bise. Uh, Madingo, um, Madingo, I don't know if they say good morning. No, Wale, Tanasti, Tanasti Tala. Um, full of people said, Kajarama, Kajarama Nani, Kabela Kejala. <laughs> hey, the Limba people in Sierra Leone say, Wale Bena, Kawale Bena, Kawale Bena, Wale Bena, Wale Bena. <laughs> What is? I don't know so so. I don't know so so. Uh, which other language? I don't know. Anyway, say good morning in your language, okay? If you're watching me from China, from Vietnam, from whichever language, say good morning. Um, Gianna said, yeah, Gianna, I don't know that one. Gianna, which language is that? <laughs> uh, Misa said, mine is Madingo. Okay, say good morning, Madingo. Um, Cincinnati, say good morning in English. <laughs> anyway, let me stop. I have to cook. How you guys doing? Please call me, chef, once you get off. Uh, and Jason. Okay. <laughs> 
Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning all over the world. Whether you speak English or you don't speak English, good morning. So I'm going to show you guys how to make jerk chicken for Christmas, jerk chicken for Thanksgiving. If you are cooking for 15 to 20 people, 30 people, 40 people, 50 people, this is how you're going to make your jerk chicken. Make sure, this is leg cutters. The jerk chicken that I made the other day, that's just the drums. You can use any type of chicken and make jerk chicken. You can do breast, you can do legs, you can do leg cutters, you can do a whole chicken, you can do chicken necks, chicken bones, chicken feet, any chicken that you want, you can do jerk chicken with it. But the secret here is the seasoning, the way you season your chicken. Successful Sunday jewels. Thank you, Mr. Gates. Thank you so much. So I clean up my chicken and put a line here. The reason I put a line in the middle so the seasonings can go inside. Then I clean this the inside. You guys know what's in here, right? Those brown, brown stuff. I take all of them out. So now when you season, the season going to enter all here. So when you eat your jerk chicken, you can even suck the bone, okay? So we have a case of jerk chicken. I'm cooking for a lot of people. Um, I'm cooking for the um, Sierra Leone community. They have some prayers. They're going to have prayers for all the people that have died. Most of our people that, that we've lost here in the community, especially in Atlanta, you know, so they're just going to pray for all families in, in, that lives here in Atlanta, all the Sierra Leoneans. And we're going to pray for all our family members too that have died back home. We're just going to pray for the community. That's why I always emphasize on prayers, you know. So the Imam of the Mocks, um, recommend this that we need prayers because just last month we lost like two good people two good guys in our community from cancer you know and um it's not easy every year every year every year we're gonna lose like three to four five people in the community you know so that's why the imam decided to pray for everyone everyone that lost a loved one from the corona cancer any type of illness so these prayers for everybody. These prayers, <laughs> Ani, Anisha Hoff, how are you, girl? <laughs> I hope you are doing good. Joyce Williams, how are you? Michelle, how are you? April, how are you doing? So this prayer is for everybody. The Imam, the monks, the whole monks are going to pray for everybody. They're going to pray for good health. They're going to pray for for long life they're going to pray for the dead ones they're going to pray they're just going to pray for everything because the way the world is going now it's just difficult it's just it's just difficult trust me things are getting expensive 10 times the price you know people are struggling people that have businesses are struggling people that have family members are struggling everybody is struggling the homelessness is going high you know, and trust me, the more the homelessness is going high in any country, the more we have more problems. Because as a human being, if you're hungry, you want to eat, you're going to have something, you're going to find something to do, to eat. So that's how some people end up stealing, robbery, um, home invasion, all those kinds of stuff, you know, because of poverty because of whatever is going on around the world so right now we really need prayers and i will recommend most of our facebook creators it don't matter if you're doing comedy it don't matter if you're doing food no it don't matter what you're doing on facebook please before you start doing anything offer prayers prayers is the key to anything in life without prayers you are nothing if you don't believe in god you are nothing you have to believe in god <coughs> It don't matter what you do. Just believe in God. Because you didn't come in this world by yourself. You didn't just come from the tree and fall down. You didn't just come from out of the space and just came, voila, I'm here. You came from somewhere. You came from somewhere. And God created all human beings. That's why we have to believe in him. Prayers, you don't have to just go to church every Sunday or you go to mocks a mass day every Friday. No, you can pray any time of the day. Any time of the day, just sit in your car, sit in your living room, sit in your bathroom, sit everywhere. Just bend your head down and pray. Prayers is talking to God. 
one to one one to one that's all nothing else nothing else mm -hmm. you can talk to your god directly don't go through anybody don't go through anybody to do it for you hey voodoo man can you help me pray or can you help me this oh no what a voodoo man can do even the voodoo man gonna say by the grace of god did you hear that the voodoo man gonna say by the grace of god that means the voodoo man too gonna pray the whole night for you for things to happen for you why don't you go directly to him yourself so let's continue to pray this is the reason i'm cooking and this food i'm cooking it's no charge. I'm doing it for free out of, out of my own pocket. So me too, I can get a, the blessing of the prayers they're going to offer today at, at, at the March Day, at the Sierra Leone Community March Day. So most of my Sierra Leone people that live in Atlanta, if you don't have anything to do, if you are not busy, please go there and get some blessing for yourself. Just go sit there and listen to the prayers. You know, most of the Muslim, um, the Sierra Leone community or the Muslim Jama, you guys know the address. You guys know the March day. If you don't know the March day, go to the Sierra Leone, uh, um, um, to the Muslim Jama, uh, um, um, how they call it? Muslim Jama, um, uh, how they call it? The um, the WhatsApp, the WhatsApp group. They have a WhatsApp group for the Muslim Jama. But anyway, most of you guys, Atlanta people that live here, Muslim or no Muslim, just go get you some blessing from the mocks. So this is the chicken right here. The chicken is already clean. I'm going to take a little salt. The reason I'm putting salt on this, because this is a lot of chicken. So I want it to taste very, very, very good. So I'm going to take my all-purpose flavoring. Pin the website. What you doing, Asma? You want to delete somebody? Pin the website. So, guys, I'm using my all-purpose flavoring on this chicken. Guys, don't forget to go on Chef Ruby's website. I'm going to put a whole bottle in here. Because, yeah, we have a lot of chicken down there. So, you have to move the chicken and season all the way to the bottom. Guys. Good morning, everybody. How are you Good morning. Doing? How are you guys doing? So you have to move your chicken and season the bottom of it. Season all the way to the bottom, guys. Yeah. Asma, show them how this season look on this chicken. Can you move, move the phone a little bit? I have to go to the bottom. Guys, where you going to find any seasoning that look pretty like this on food? And forget about the pretty. They're going to taste good on your food like this. So I'm putting the all 16 ounce bottle. Because this is a lot of chicken, guys. So I'm going to rub it. It's season. You have to make sure you season it. Very, very good. Okay. So lift it up from the bottom. And go. Like this. Okay, so I'm going to take these gloves off. Now we're going to come over here and blend the ingredients. Okay. We have onions. We have onions. This onion, the inside is rusty. Let me take it off. Can you guys see? This is one and a half onions. Okay, guys. One and a half yellow onions. You can put some um, white onions. This is um, ginger. You put ginger, onions, ginger, a bunch of habanero peppers because I want it spicy. I'm cooking for African people, so I want it spicy. Mm -hmm. um, this is um, basil leaves. You put your basil leaves in here. Then you put your garlic. This is garlic. I hope you guys get all the ingredients that I put here. We have onions. We have habanero peppers, we have ginger, we have garlic, then we have basil leaves, okay? It's in here. So now, let me start blending, then I can put the rest of the stuff. Can you see? Okay. So 
I'm just blending right now, guys. You have to put it inside so everything can blend. And add water. To So that's the blended ingredients right here everything is in there can you move the phone a little bit thank you for the 50 stars thank you so much so we're gonna take it and put it on this chicken take it put it here i need my gloves let me go raise my hand i need gloves okay everything is in there this is how you make your jerk chicken even if you have a party guys this is how you make your jerk chicken clean your chicken you can use like i said you can use any chicken of your choice guys let me fix this phone a little bit i want you guys to see what i'm doing mom what is diana talking about huh what is diana talking about what's she say she say did I eat the lamb chop yesterday? What lamb chop? <laughs> Gianna, you're going to the police. <laughs> ask her. Ask Gianna. Ask her. Ask her. I don't know what she's talking about. Gianna, what are you talking about? <laughs> hmm. Gianna. Gianna, come on. Come tell Nazma what you're talking about. I told you last night. Come tell her. What you talking about? Ask Gianna, no? <laughs> guys, I'm putting... Guys, I'm putting my job chicken... Uh, <laughs> guys, the way that's why it's looking at me, I'm confused. <laughs> Gianna, you know laughing. You come here and explain. Which lamb you talking about? Gianna, Nazma is here. Talk to Nazma. <laughs> Gianna... <laughs> Gianna, explain. <laughs> Guys, I'm putting my jog, uh, um, jog seasonings, okay? I'm putting my jog right now. Gianna, if you don't explain, I'm going to sue you. I'm going to the police, me and you. <laughs> I told Gianna yesterday, if you don't come for your lamb. They're telling on you in the car. <laughs> Said, Gianna, if you let Nazma come for me at night, me and you are going to have a problem. I swear to God. <laughs> okay, guys. Now you put your jerk seasonings. What they say, Nazma? What they say? Robin said, Mom made delicious lamb chops. Hey, these people. Oh, my God. I thought it's only African people, Congo Sahel. <laughs> I didn't know my jaws are Congo Sahel, too. <laughs> That. Me and Rashida enjoyed last night. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah. Oh, uh -huh. Rashida had some, right? Uh -huh. Wow, okay. Mm -hmm. I see how y'all rocking now. <laughs> That's fine. You went to bed early. That's fine. I told everybody if you don't come for the lamb right now, don't come for me at night, oh, because I'm not going to be there. I sleep early because today's a work day for me. I know. What's work day? What's she doing? <laughs> Homework, homework and schoolwork. Schoolwork. So guys, I'm just trying to put all my jock sauce in here. We already have the um can you come around and trash all this so they don't disturb me? Can you guys see this chicken? So we have our blended ingredients. 
you have to rub this chicken you have to rub it guys you have to make sure this sauce go inside your your chicken now you have to go around this is how you cook for parties this is how you cook for you know for little functions any function that you have baby showers parties season your meats like this oh my god your people whoever you invite to your party they're gonna go crazy they're gonna go crazy they're gonna eat till they eat no more mm -hmm. they're gonna eat till they pack they take some to their houses mm -hmm. oh my god i wish can you guys see Love you, Chef Ruby and family. We love you too, Stephanie. How are you, Stephanie? How you doing? Reggie said, isn't uh -huh. that too much seasoning? Uh-uh, it's not too much. Oh, this is a lot of chicken. You know, but season your food to your own taste. Me, I'm seasoning this. Well, this um jerk seasoning is not seasoning. It's just sauce. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the sauce that go on the chicken. I don't even know why they call it jerk seasoning. They're supposed to call it jerk sauce. You know? But they say jock, jock seasoning. You have to mm -hmm. make sure. Mm -hmm. Go Lone, ahead. Lolaine said, please tell Chef I said hello and hello to everyone. On the Hi, Miss Lolaine. How are you? I hope you are doing okay. So you have to make sure you take the sauce and put it inside your chicken. You have to do it one by one because you don't want to grill any chicken that's, that's not going to taste right. So make sure you put the sauce inside the chicken. Why people asking ignorant questions? What's the ignorant question? Just tell me. Sometimes I can answer ignorant question too. Did you wash and clean the chicken? Did I wash and clean the chicken? Tell her to go to go back and start the video, or to wait till I'm done, then she can start. She can watch the beginning. If my chicken is not clean, because she see I'm mixing it in in this box. That's why. Mm -hmm. The reason I'm mixing it in the box because I want to marinate my chicken very well. It's not that I don't have big bowls, but I don't want to wash bowls. When I finish with this, I put a clean plastic bag. You know, when I finish with this, I'm just going to take this bag and tie it up and dump it in the trash and trash the box. So I don't have to go ahead and clean any bowl. I'm the master of bowls. I have any type, any size, you know. But sometimes you have to use your head when you're doing stuff. So you don't have to end up cleaning too much. Even when, when I'm in my restaurant, I tell people, I say, use your head. If you use your head, when you finish cooking, you don't have to clean a lot. But you have to use your head. Some people cooking, they dirty, they dirty 20 dishes or 30 dishes just in one cook. By the time you finish cooking, the whole place is nasty. Then you have to go sit down and clean up again. So we're going to go outside. That's my thing. You're going to have to take the camera outside. So I can go put this chicken on the fire. Come on, let's go. You want to take the camera? Yeah, out. Open the door first. I'll take the box. Let me change my gloves. Let me drink my smoothie. All right, let's go. I'm coming. The box is heavy. Oh, my fire is ready. My fire is ready. My fire is ready. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got the grill going. How you guys doing? Come on, let's cook outside. Chef Ruby is outside. Now we're gonna put our chicken on the grill. Can they see everything? Mm -hmm. Okay. Give me some oil, Lazma. Give me some oil. Yeah, give me some oil. I have to put oil on this chicken. Oh. Before I put it on the chicken, I don't know if you can take your phone off and just come show them. Give me the oil. Put. Put. Put again. Put more. That's it. Okay, that's it. The reason, leave the oil here. The reason I'm putting the oil on the chicken because you don't want the chicken to stick on the grill. Show them this chicken. Show them this chicken, guys. Look at this chicken. Look at this chicken, guys. 
jerk chicken. Look at it. Just imagine when it's done. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can go back now. I'm going to start lining this chicken here. Jerk chicken tastes even better when you dump out the, all the um, nasty marinade in the chicken. Yes, you have to marinate it. You have to marinate it with Chef Ruby seasoning. You have to go to the website and order my seasoning. That's the only way your food going to taste like Chef Ruby or your food going to taste good. This seasoning is the bomb that's come. You cannot go wrong with this seasoning. Mm -hmm. This seasoning will change your cooking game. Yeah. Look at it, guys. Oh, my God. Just, I can't imagine for my jewels I'm going to invite for my dinner. Oh, my God. You're going to enjoy it. <laughs> You're going to enjoy yourself. Trust me. Chef Ruby going to throw down for you. My 15 to 20 jewels I'm going to invite for my dinner. You guys going to enjoy Oh my God! Bring the phone close. Just bring it. The stick. Jimmy, this is perfect for the. No, I want to turn it here again one more time. Guys, if you have a wedding, you have a baby shower, you have Thanksgiving coming, you have Christmas coming. This is how you marinate your stuff. But you have to go on, on the website and order my seasonings. You have to have the seasonings. All this blended stuff I show you guys. You cannot just the, use the blended stuff for your meat to taste good like Chef Ruby. You have to have the seasoning. Go on the website and order this seasoning. Internationalflavorscuisine.com the, 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 the website is pinned. Nazma, did you pin the website? Get this website. Go there and shop. You're going to get my lovely, 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 lovely hot pepper sauce. I'm going to come sit down now and borrow my hot uh, pepper. Good morning, Mama Tracy. Mama Tracy, come on, let's cook. Mama Tracy, come get some jerk chicken. Please, Mommy, come. I'm going to save you some. This is a whole box I'm making right here. I'm putting the sauce on the chicken. Can you guys see? Look at this beautiful sauce. I make my own jerk sauce, guys. Oh my God, if you taste this, <laughs> you're going straight to heaven. So I'm going to cover this one while the other one is cooking. I'm going to cover this. Oh, your breakfast. Huh? Your... <coughs> my breakfast. Okay. Breakfast. I'm a chef. I just go in there and wash my hands. That's it. If you follow your nice, nice stuff, you're not going to cook. Hmm? Like you, you're going to be cooking like this. <laughs> I don't cook like that. <laughs> Don't want nothing to touch me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like that. That's why you're gonna be cooking. Give me a Mommy stick. Say, okay. Okay, mommy, please let me know. If you want me to save you some, I'll save you some. Give me the stick. Let me flip this quick. Then I'm gonna go wash mm -hmm. my hand. Look, the the how you call it? Man, keep quiet. The tonsil, the thing, the whatever you call it, asthma. Let me see. Sorry guys, the fan is right there, but you have to put the thing on it. You know the other thing is charging. Just 
blow it. It's gonna go off. Bring them close. Bring them close so they can see. It's close. Yeah, bring it close now, man. Okay, then will you can melt the other one now. Because the heat is a lot. If my phone melts, then I'm going to sue Apple. <laughs> because they say waterproof, <coughs> waterproof and melt, melt proof. Uh huh. Waterproof and, and fireproof. So if my phone melts, I'm going to sue Apple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to get free phone tonight, right? For life, yeah. Guys, look at this jerk chicken, guys. You cannot beat this soil. Just imagine if I'm throwing down the, the first Saturday of December for my jewels. Oh my God. You guys are going to enjoy some good homemade food. Okay? So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to cover this and let it cook. We have to cover this chicken. We have to cover it. Let me straight, straight it up. Can you guys see all this chicken, guys? Oh my God. Look at this chicken, guys. You can make this yourself. You can make this for your family. You can make this for for your husband, for your boyfriend, for for I don't know how to put this. Thing. So I have to take it out. I'm taking this out. I don't know how to put it. So we're gonna close this. Thank you guys for all the love. Thank you guys for all the hearts. Thank you guys. Good morning, Chef Ruby. I share your seasoning with um joyful cook. If she responded, I would love to mail her some, some of your, some of your seasoning. They are the bomb.com. Thank you, Miss Goen. Thank you so much. Thank you for that. That's why I love you. Thank you. Your mommy is looking sexy today. Let me fix my dress. Um, Miss Jemet said, I love you all, Chef Ruby, Chef Ruby family, Sister Tracy and all others. Everyone, please buy some of both Chef Ruby and Mama Tracy and Mama Tracy seasoning. Yes, our seasonings are the bomb that come. Hey, try those seasoning. If you buy Mama Tracy seasonings and you put them in your colored greens for the Thanksgiving, oh my God, everybody gonna love it. Okay, so I'm gonna sit down and bottle my um and bottle my hot pepper sauce while. The chicken is cooking. So, Grandma, can I borrow your chair? Huh? Don't do that now, Isma. Yeah, we're going to sit down and borrow it. Bring me out here. Bring me the bottles. Yeah. My heart got to suck. You have to go order. Give me some gloves. Nazma, let me get some gloves. Open the bottles for me. We love ourselves.
bring my camera close to me, please. I hope my chicken don't burn up. I hope it's not too much fire. I don't think it's going to burn. Go rinse this. Can you rinse this and bring it? Go brace this thing. Bring me the spoon. Guys, you all need to go order this hot pepper sauce, guys. This is the bomb hot pepper sauce. So I'm just going to show you guys. Go on the website and order your signature hot pepper sauce, guys. This is homemade from scratch. Do you guys see? This is so good. For those of you that like spicy, you cannot get any hot pepper like this in any store that you go. Look how beautiful this pepper is. Look at it, guys. Oh, my God. Go order your spices. You will love it. This is our signature hot pepper sauce. A lot of people hot, love this hot pepper sauce, guys. It's homemade. As you can see, you're not going to say, Oh, maybe Chef Ruby bought this hot pepper sauce and put it on her website. No. This is homemade from scratch. I blend all my ingredients and cook it myself. You know, so it's from scratch, guys. The most of my supporters that have tried this hot pepper, they will tell you how this hot pepper tastes. I'm making it from scratch. I'm not going to tell you guys the, the ingredient that I put or the recipe because that's my secret and that's my money making. But just go get it for yourself. Just go get it for yourself and try it yourself. The bomb hot pepper, guys. The bomb hot pepper, guys. It's so good. This is the $15 bottle. This is the big bottle. $15. We have the small bottles. Well, I think the price went up. This one is $16.99. We have the small bottles for $12.99. As you guys know, everything is high now. Everything is high nowadays, you know, so we have to go up a little bit on our prices too, but you won't regret it guys, you're going to love this, this, you eat this on your food, any kind of food that you, that you cook, you put this hot pepper on the side, oh my god, you're not going to regret it, it tastes so good, let me show you guys, look at this hot pepper. The smoke making the phone dark. The phone is kind of dark a little bit, guys. Yum, yum, yum. Homeless, homeless have of hope, INC, non-profit organization, hot pepper sauce. <laughs> I don't know. Gianna, what is that? <laughs> hey, Gianna, what are you talking about? This hot pepper. Oh, my God. You cannot go to any store and find this hot pepper, guys. No store. They have they have a bunch of them out there. But it won't taste like Chef Ruby's. But Chef Ruby all purple seasonings. Oh my god, you cannot be that. I just make a whole case of hot pepper. You have to put some oil in it. The oil make it last longer. So you put some oil. This can last you for a whole month or more than a month. You just put it in your you just put it in your refrigerator. This hot pepper is flying like crazy. Sometimes I can't keep up with the demand. Right now I don't have none. Everything is gone. I have people from Canada. People from all over London, Canada. They call me to order this hot pepper sauce, guys. Everywhere. You know? You cannot beat this all. 
go on the website now as I'm making it. You go order. Internationalflavorscuisine.com. Go to the website and order your hot pepper. Uh, we have a full suit uh, uh, case of this. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. One more, then that's it. Oh my god. One more hot pepper. Hot pepper sauce, homemade from scratch. As you guys can see, I'm taking it from out of my pot to the bottle. It's not from somebody's bottle to my bottle. This is from my cooking pot to my bottle. I'm going to leave some for me to eat it with my lamb. I'm going to grill some lamb too, guys. So you clean. Oh, oh. Can you go rinse that cover, Nazma? Come take the cover and go rinse it. Get up. Because you're not getting up. And take the pot with you. Thank you. Take the pot with you. Thank you. So, guys. Oh, God. I want to take the plastic off. This is... This is a whole case. God... Good, good business. Thank you. Go grab your hot pepper. It's going to go. It's going to go out by tomorrow. People love this. It's over. I'm making some more. Guys, this goes so fast. Go grab yours. You can eat it with lamb. You can eat it with chicken. You can eat it with um, boiled um, plantain, boiled cassava. You can even eat it with white rice just by itself. This is a whole case. So go grab yours. Hi. It's right here. Okay. Let me check my chicken now. Can you trash this? Trash this. Thank you. I need to check my chicken. <coughs> Always have gloves around you. You know, this is what tells you guys that I can use gloves. When it comes to use gloves, I'm using gloves. Right now, I'm cooking for people, and I'm making my uh, a hot pepper sauce, so I'm using gloves. But if I'm cooking in the house for me and my kids, I don't need gloves. That's the difference, guys. So for most of you guys that see me cooking in my kitchen and say, Oh, where's your gloves? Why you don't wear your gloves? You don't have to wear gloves. Let me go check my chicken. Let's go from the pot and trash this. Let me check my chicken. I don't want this chicken to burn. Come on, let's check the chicken together, guys. Can you guys see? Okay. Ooh. Oh, my. Oh my God. I'm not going to trash this off. This is the skin that came off. 
Oh my god. Mmm. Oh Something else, Papa God. <laughs> oh my God, these kids are something else. <laughs> Let me check. <laughs> oh my God, what happened? No well, later if you're not feeling good. I can't. Why? I have to finish I'm not done. What? Then I have to do here. Finish what? The website. Oh. Well, you have to finish the website. Huh? What pictures? Like the new pictures? Mm -hmm. know, it's having trouble uploading. Uploading? Like it's supposed to be loading, but they don't have to load. Why? Huh? What's wrong? Give me that paper. Let me just finish it one time since I'm out here. Guys, that's another part. Wait, is any of the chicken done? The chicken is not done yet. You have to wait. None of it? None of it done. I just eat some of them, the skin. Guys, as I told you guys, this hot pepper goes so fast. This is my second part. I have to make two parts for this week. Because people buying this like crazy. It's going so fast. So fast. It don't waste time. It don't waste time. Let me show you guys. Look how beautiful it is. My African people that like spicy. Go on this website and order this pepper. You know, so if you have a husband that don't eat pepper, you can put this on the side of your food and eat your food. If you have a wife that don't eat pepper, you can cook pepper for your husband or you can cook your food without the pepper. Then you have this pepper on your side. No, you guys, this pepper, this pepper <laughs> goes well with kids meals. You put Kids it, meals? You put it on the mac and cheese, or you put it in the eggs and waffles for breakfast. You can put it on the chicken tenders. I'm, I'm going to put it for you. Kids love it. Are you sure? Are you sure? Bad kids. You can put this for bad no, kids. What? <laughs> you can put this pepper for bad kids. Trust me. Now, now's my mommy have a meal for you. <laughs> so you want to tell me Nazma is bad? <laughs> Call Nazma. <laughs> Guys, huh? About what? Leave to go where? You gonna go do here? I thought you said RSL is close. <laughs> oh my God! Mm -mm -mm. Quick weave? Okay, so finish that website. Yeah, finish uploading the picture before you go. Guys, if you have a bad kid, just mix this in the macaroni. <laughs> you, the chicken is almost ready, Rashida. Wait, let me no, cut it up. No, 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 no. You don't have to leave right now. I do. No, you don't. The is that I love it. Whatever. Rashida said, if you have a bad kid, this hot pepper is good for them. Just mix it up in the mac and cheese. <laughs> the next day, they're going to be sober. They're going to wake up and say, Mommy, Mommy, I am so sorry for being bad Mommy, yesterday. Hmm? What time I'm supposed to take it? Huh? What time I'm supposed to take that? One o'clock. One o'clock. Let, let me go do that thing. Let me go do the cooking real quick and come back. It's not, you're not going to make it. I know you. You're slow I to do here. One. You cannot pro postpone it. Yeah, the program starts at two. Let me ask her. So, let me ask her if it's a good lady. Yeah, later in the evening. What time does it? You what? just drop it and come. That's it. Where's the place? I'll give you the address. Is it far? It's not far. Like down south? Yeah. It's far. Well, as long as you drive, it's not far. America, anywhere you drive, it's not far. As long as you have a car. Guys, this is the second part I'm making now. Second. That tells you that this hot pepper goes like rice cake. People love it. They will order this like 
I don't know. I can't even believe that my American people love spicy. Some of them, they really, really love spicy. Some people say, Chef Ruby, send me my hot pepper sauce. I'm missing my hot pepper sauce. Oh, my hot pepper bottle broke. Can you send me another one? Can you send me another one, Chef Ruby, please? So, I think I'm going to have another bottle. Mm -mm -mm. Nazma, come. Take my gloves off. Okay. So we have one bottle left. Come take this part in the house. We have to clean it right away. Come on, honey. Come take this. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'm about to make Rashida some food. You're making Rashida some food? What kind of food? The chicken is almost ready. Move this part. That's another one. Go order, go order this hot pepper sauce, guys. Go on the website and order. Internationalflavorscuisine.com This is so good. Check your chicken. I'm going to come check it right now. So let me go put these peppers right here. We have to put the layers on it. Can somebody take these peppers downstairs, please? And put the layers on them, please? So let me check my chicken. Nazma, if you look in that closet, like going to the boys, before you bend that call, that closet right there, give me two foil pans, please. So let's check our chicken together. Let me read this comment. Um, Carmen said, a little goes a long way when eating this hot pepper sauce and using in soups and stew. Thank you, Carmen. Thank you so much. Caroline said, you are a hardworking lady. Just love watching you. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. You have to be hardworking. My 12-year-old son loves the hot pepper sauce. He loves spicy. Yes. Oh, even my three-year-old, I'm saying three-year-old, my one-year-old niece, my brother's son, that baby can eat hot stuff. I don't know where she came from. I was telling her mom yesterday, I don't know where this baby came from. She will eat spicy stuff like, like no, nobody's business. You know? So, I'm going to um, let's put him here for now. Um, I have a cutting board. <laughs> Today you're going to walk home. Uh, I have white cutting boards over there. Can you take one and go rinsing? Cutting? Cutting board, yeah. Cutting board. I have to cut the chicken when it's ready. So guys, you have to flip the secret to this um, chicken, you have to keep flipping it while it's cooking so both sides can cook. Some of them are almost ready. I wish I had the long thing up here so I can move some of them, but I don't know how to set it up. So we're going to flip the chicken one more time. You have to flip it till everything is cooked. So the ones are almost ready, they're going to be on this side. Oh, you're not going to drop on the floor. I'm going to eat you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. That's the little pieces that are coming from the chicken. I'm not going to let you drop off. I'm going to eat it. You're not going on the fire. Hi. Mm -hmm. Oh. I'm going to move this to one side so you can continue cooking and I'm going to add some more chicken. That's my find the cutting board. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. yeah, wash it out good. Mm -hmm. Because when this chicken is ready, we have to cut it up. Can you guys see this chicken? Let me bring you guys closer. That's how you make jerk chicken, guys. 
Make sure you watch the beginning so you can get a recipe. I'm gonna close it one more time. The steam, when you close it, it's the steam that cook the chicken. Huh? It feels like a smoky flavor. Uh-huh. When you close it, the smoke gives your chicken that smoky flavor and the heat cook the chicken. So you have to close it 10, 15 minutes, you come back and check it. Do you ship to Florida? Yes, I do. Just go on the website and order. We ship to all states in America. You know, the only place maybe we don't ship is international. But international, if you can call me and place your order, I can ship to you. Um, good morning, Janice. How are you? Um, Ver Veramini. Veramini, how are you? Veramini is watching. Sanjay is watching. Um, Nia is watching. Nia say, hey, food looks delicious. Thank you so much. That looks delicious. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, precious. Thank you, guys. I'm just waiting for this food to cook. Then I'm going to chop it up. Let me clean here. Give me a foil. I need a foil. A foil so I can put over the cutting board. Please. Please. Just get a whole foil and bring it. Please. And a big knife to cut up the chicken. I want a big knife. To cut up the chicken. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We are waiting. For the chicken to cook i want to show you guys when i cut it up thank you guys for the thumbs up thank you guys for the love if you guys want to support chef ruby y'all can send some stars for chef ruby you guys send stars to show that you guys appreciate chef ruby for sharing this beautiful recipe thank you <coughs> Me. All right, like why they are facing me. Right here. So maybe right here. Mm -hmm. I have to cut up the chicken. I'm not really coming. Mm. 
The drop chicken is ready if she wants some. Not really in common. Come on, Deborah, come in. Why, why, why are you turning it up? Huh? I don't understand. Yeah, you know, if you, especially if you're cooking for a lot of people, you cannot serve it whole. Mm -hmm. If it's for my house, I will leave it whole. Mm -hmm. But since I'm taking it to a function, you want everybody to, to, be, able to, to be able to get some. Mm -hmm. So that's why you're cutting it up. Oh my God. Okay, mm? We're cooking for a lot of people. How are you doing it? It's so hot. Mm? It's so hot. Yeah. That's why you, I'm a chef. You know what you a lot of people do? Uh-huh. I see, um, I see she driving with her son. Who? He. Who is Kate? Makuita. Uh-huh. Yeah. So we can do a drive with me and Asma. A drive with me and Asma? Uh-huh. Okay. Like you teaching me how to drive. Okay. And you never know. Okay. This is a messy job. You have to cut it. Then if you feel like your chicken is not done, you can make the jog sauce, spray the jog sauce on it, and put it in the oven for like 20 minutes. You know? Just to make sure that everything is done. But if you come, if you come taste this chicken, look at it, guys. If you come taste this chicken, oh my God. Oh my God. That's all I can say. Oh. Kwan says, Chef is vicious with the knife. <laughs> don't, Hattie, don't play with her. She's the boss. <laughs> oh my God. No. I'm vicious with the knife. Vicious, vicious. Okay. I'm gonna take all this chicken and put it here. Guys, you cannot go to any Jamaican restaurant and get this jerk chicken. This is the bomb. This is the bomb chicken. Look at it. Come get you some. So before I cut up this, I'm going to put the rest in the oven or on the stove or whatever you call it. Let me change the gloves. I wish I had the scraper, the thing that you can scrape. Why is that spoon that I wash? Grill, right? I have a spoon. It's in the sink. Go get it. Let me scrape a little bit. Come on, honey. I have to scrape it before I put the rest. I can use this. Hi.
Guys, the chicken is in there. We're going to close it again and let it cook. Now we're going to move the camera. Then I'm going to cut some more. <sighs> so if you want to be a supporter, just go to our page. You will see the supporter. You will see the supporter badge there. Then you can sign up. You know, I don't know the rest. But when you go to my page, you will see it there. They say share Fruby supporters. I have a green picture on it. So just go there, click and support us. That's um four ninety nine a month. You know, if you guys can sign up, if I can have, if I can have all of my um, if I can have all of my jewels. Let me lift this phone up a little bit so you guys can see me. If I can have all of my jewels to sign up on my supporter group, trust me, guys, I can do three, four, five videos a day because that money can help me. To do shopping every day to cook for you guys so I hope most of you guys go there and sign up um, just go to my page and scroll down you're gonna see you know they have the um the stuff there you will see the essential Fruby supporters I have a green picture on it so you just click it and sign up and become a supporter $4.99 a month that can give us um, for $4.99 a month 10 people can can give two or three recipes a day you know and if you cannot sign up send stars just send stars for us that's how you show your support you know set just go ahead and send stars guys you know that's all i can say because trust me like i always say it takes time it takes money for me to come out here and share these recipes with you guys you know mm -hmm. yes thank you nazma so this chicken i'm gonna I'm going to make some sauce. I'm going to make some jack sauce and, and, and spray the jack sauce over it. Then put it in the oven for like 10 to 20 minutes. You know, that way you can 100% sure everything is, is done. Oh, that, the sauce is going to make it more moist. That's how you cut it up when I'm done. I'm going to show you guys how it came out. Some of them are not done inside. That's why I'm going to go put it in the oven. I'm going to make the jerk sauce and put it in the oven. Man, whoever going to eat this jerk chicken today, they're going to, they're going to love Chef Ruby. They're going to say, damn, this girl can cook. This girl can cook her butt off. So look at it. This is the sauce. Take some of this sauce, put it all over your chicken. Then now you're going to take these gloves off. I'm going to clean this up. When I'm getting ready to cut the other one, I'm going to use another foil to do it. But for now, I'm going to put this here. Then we're going to take tissue and wipe. Just wipe for now. Mm. 
I'm going to put this in the house. I don't need it. Put it in the sink. This one doesn't work Huh? This one doesn't work mm -hmm. Look at this jerk chicken, guys. Who want a full pan of jerk chicken? <laughs> hey, come get it. Come get it, my people. She has someone at the restaurant where she is at home cooking. Did they want me to be at this restaurant 24 hours a day? Yeah. Chef Ruby, who is all that food for? Who is all that food for? Looks amazing. Um, I'm taking this food to our Sierra Leone Majdi. I'm taking it to the Majdi. Uh, Majdi, that's where people pray. You know, they have some kind of prayers for everybody. For They have prayers for people that have lost their family. People that have lost a loved one. They're just going to offer prayers for the community, you know? So they ask, they ask most of the women in the community to cook and bring food, you know? So that's why I decided to make this one for them. And I'm going to grill some lamb. So I might let you go. I might let you guys go for now. Then, um, what's on the oven on? We're going to put this in the oven. I'm going to make some jerk sauce with barbecue and spray over the chicken and put it in the oven so that's how you do it now i'm going to make some sauce i'm going to put the sauce over the chicken and put it in the oven for like 10 15 minutes the max is 20 minutes just to make it well done and give it all that extra sauce if somebody want to eat it with rice they can eat it with rice okay so that's how you cook if you're having a party you're having a function this is how you cook, guys. You know, but you have to order Chef Ruby seasonings for you to be able to cook like this, guys. It's the bomb food. Look at it. Look at it. Oh my God. Yeah. Look at it. Look at all. All my jewels can get a one piece, one piece of chicken. Just come over. Come get a one piece. I cook, I already cooked some coconut rice to eat with this chicken. We have some coconut rice ready. So I'm gonna go in there now and make some jerk sauce to put over the chicken, guys. It's so easy to cook. If you have the right seasoning, you can cook any time of the day. You can get up and cook any time of the day. You just have to have the right seasoning, the right spices, the right uh, um, ingredient to cook, and the right recipes. Right recipes. You can throw down like Chef Ruby. So we're going to close it one more time. Uh, do you have a coupon code for first time buyer? Uh, no, we don't have no coupon code right now. <laughs> We don't have no coupons. Sometimes we have free shipping though. You know, so I might have um I might have some free shipping for you guys for um maybe for the Thanksgiving and Christmas. So when I do free shipping, that's gonna go for everything. Thanksgiving, Christmas. So and uh -huh. we're gonna hit 50k followers. So you, so, you guys go ahead and share the video. Go ahead and share the video. We have, I think we have 1,000 something for us to hit 50K. So share the video so a lot of people can follow us. Then when, when we hit 50K, we might have a giveaway for that. So I'm going to close this chicken again and let it cook. Then I'm going to go in the house and make some jerk sauce to put over my chicken before I put it in the oven for like 5 to 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever minute you, you think is going to work for your chicken to to marinate and make some sauce in it so people can eat it with rice or the chicken can be well done. What was the name of the market you wear? That's Biford Highway Farmers Market. The Biford Highway Farmers Market in Atlanta. I'll put it in the comments. Yeah, I think, I think Nazma, um, I think Nazma posted, you know, but it's Biford Highway Farmers Market. If you live in Atlanta, you don't have to chew that seed. You just suck it, that's it. You know, so if you live in Atlanta, you can go over there and grab all your ingredients that you want. Cooking is all about seasoning. 
she's building her business so give her time before she can start giving discounts <laughs> yeah you can give discounts sometimes you know and if it don't matter if you are building or growing or whatever sometimes you give discounts so people can try your products and god knows since i've started this business i've been doing free shipping forever mm -hmm. i do free shipping all the time why i'm doing free shipping i want people to be able to order this seasoning so they, they can try them and anybody that order this seasoning they get addicted anybody that try this seasoning they get stuck they can't go anywhere that's all they're going to be using on their food so run to the website www no this one is not w this one is http something whatever go to international flavors and order your seasonings thank you guys for the love thank you guys for the thumbs up that's my question block hobby <laughs> <coughs> hobby hobby need to get the hell out of here guys we're gonna handle all the moderator stuff today yeah rashida and um nasma are gonna try to give us like five moderators to block these idiots that come in here and cause problems okay just saw on her page when placing my order it asks did did i have a discount code um i don't think we have any discount code right now but like i said i'm gonna do free shipping for you guys for christmas and thanksgiving and um just come shop for your mom for your aunt for your neighbor for your friend for you know you can send this seasoning as gift those people will appreciate you than you giving them physical money those people will appreciate you than you giving them something that's not going to last them those seasonings when people receive them as gifts and taste them Oh my God, that's how I'm going to get more people because they're going to be asking you where you get those seasoning from. So please go on the website and grab yours. Please resend my seasoning. Resend, please. Who is this? Uh, William Brown, you keep saying that. I don't know. Call me, please. Because, you know, some of you guys, sometimes I don't want to come and address it because I don't want people to say, oh, she's just saying that. You know, but some people, they will, they will order seasoning and put wrong addresses. And they expect me to go in and correct the address for them. Mm -hmm. After I send your seasoning to your wrong address, mm -hmm. then maybe your seasoning come back and stuff like that. It's your responsibility to send more money for me to ship your, your product back. But some of them, they expect me to take my own physical money to send the stuff back, and which I've done for a lot of people. I've done for a lot of people. But some of those people will come here and comment, I never receive my seasoning. I na -na 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 -na. You know? Like one lady, she sent the wrong address. The seasoning came back. Then I have to communicate with her. She have to give me the right address before I send her product. I will pay out of my pocket to resend it. You know, so please, if you have a problem with your seasoning or your product, call me or email me so I can respond and we can see how we can re resolve the problem. Um, for those of the people that have been following me since the beginning, they know me. I'm a very genuine person. You know, and I'm very uh, um, nice and generous, very you giving. know, very, huh? giving. very giving right. and mm, I'm done. I'm going to end this life right now. You know, so if you call me, I make sure that you really have a problem with your order. Trust me, I'm going to take care of it. That's just me, yeah. you know, because I want these spices to go all over the world. I want everybody to have it. So please, sometimes this is not the right place to contact me. Contact me on the email and you know we can solve the problem i love and appreciate you guys go make your jerk chicken today today is sunday go buy your chicken and make your jerk chicken guys all right i might come back and show you guys the end the end product i might come back and do that but for now i'm gonna say goodbye love you guys cook some curry chicken please i have so many curry chicken videos go to my page and look for them but i'm i might cook curry chicken one day I always repeat my dishes, you know. So I love and appreciate all of you guys. Yo, take care. Today is Sunday. Go cook yourself something. Just go cook something. Use your fruity seasonings and cook. These seasonings are the bomb.com. International flavors cuisine.com. Bye, Stargate. Bye. <laughs>